Day 11, Dumbo Octopus. A hundred Dumbo Octopuses in a 10 by 10 grid. Here they are. At each step, their energy level increases. That could cause them to flash, which distributes energy around. Let's look at how I did this. One thing I did, and this is kind of modeled after what Peter Norvig does with his Adventicode solutions, and that is to um, extract commonly used code. So I've done that a little bit with Create Grid, which takes some input data and makes a NumPy array out of it, a two-dimensional one. And then um, neighbor cohorts, at least two of these problems now involve kind of looking around a point in a two-dimensional space uh, for neighbors. So one of them doesn't use diagonals and this one with the octopuses does. So this function returns all of the valid neighbor coordinates. So these are offsets to get you to a new point from a point. And we take the starting point, we add the offsets, and if the coordinates that result are valid, then we yield those. Okay, back to the day 11 program. Um, we create a type here for flashes, recording what flashes there were, and that's a set of row column coordinates. And then levels is a NumPy array that came from Create Grid. Let's take a look. Create Grid. Um, as before, we're using the path class to read the text. And we split it on new line. And then for every digit in each line, we turn it into an integer and feed that to the NumPy array. Okay, why don't we start by collapsing everything? We'll look at part one. Part one runs 100 steps and counts the flashes. So you can see that we're summing the result of the step function for the 100 steps. So let's look at step next. You can see it has a bunch of nested functions. And first we create this empty set of flashes. Then we increase all energy levels. That's this part. And then we flash until no more. So that's this. This process continues as long as there's flashing to do. Increases the energy level of all adjacent octopuses by one. So let's look at flash. Well, actually, let's look at increase all energy levels and then flash until no more. Increase all energy levels for every row and column, add one. Now, flash until no more. Keep looping. And if you find some octopuses with energy levels over nine, we'll do something with them. Otherwise, we'll break out of this loop. So this is the loop that just keeps going as long as there's more work to do. And in here, we have a function needing flash coordinate pairs. So these will give us the coordinate pairs of all octopuses needing a flash. And we add their, that octopus's coordinates to the flashes set of tuples. And then we call flash. Let's look at flash next. 
increase the energy level of adjacent octopuses and reset the level of this one. So here we use the neighbor chords function we looked at a little while ago. And for all of the valid neighbor coordinates, we increase the level. And then we set the level of this octopus at this row and column to zero. Going back, here's where we called flash from. Here's where we called flash until no more. Uh, reset over nines. So what does that correspond to here? Um, not sure exactly. Uh, so everything that's, every octopus that has an energy level over 9 now gets reset to 0. And then we reset all of the octopuses that flashed. And that does the job. I was a little unclear on um, some parts of it. Uh, I had to experiment a little and kind of figure out what to do. I thought about using recursion and didn't need to. Part two. Needs to tell you at what step all octopuses flashed. So we have this loop here while the number of flashes does not equal the number of octopuses, which is 100, calculated up here, 10 times 10. We in increment the step number, and then we um, save the number of flashes returned by the step function. And then we just keep looping until we reach the step where all octopuses flashed. There we go. That's it for this one.